Today in our 2014 Ford Fiesta, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Roadmaster Universal High Power Diode Kit for towed vehicles, part number RM-154. Now we're going to begin our installation with the fascia off of our vehicle. We're doing this as part of the actual base plate installation. This is when it makes the most sense, when you've got the front end off the car, when you get your wires routed really nicely. What we're going to do is just take off we're going to take that long roll, it's going to have a four pole plug at each end. Take off just what we need here, that should be more than enough, maybe six foot or so. Now I'm going to lay the rest right up here on top of the battery on our vehicle. Now the braking system that we're using today is going to require a couple of connections here with our ground wire, our yellow wire and our green wire. So I'm going to be looping mine up around where I can make that connection and then back down. If your braking system doesn't require that, you can just run this straight underneath the vehicle. You won't have to worry about running it up like we're doing here. The gist of it's going to be just to run it down behind any other wires that make up our electrical system here on the front side of the car. I want to tuck this back in behind any of the panels that I can, help give it some security. And ultimately, we're going to want that four pole to come out right up here in the middle of the base plate. Now what we're gonna do to get our wiring down here to the bottom side is I'm gonna use a, you know, it's kind of a flexible, this is a piece of airline tubing uh, for like airbags. Uh, you can use a coat hanger or something like that. But you can see our brake lines are gonna run right here. Also our fuel line and stuff. We're gonna go right along these hangers to run our wire to the back, make it look nice. Just up behind this heat shield, and I want to run my wire behind that heat shield. We've got our exhaust here, so we're going to use that heat shield as a protection. But there's a, another kind of a hanger right up in there. So I'm going to make that airline just kind of go through the top side of that and push it up there. So hopefully we can get a hold of it from under the hood. Now you can see our airline kind of right back there. I want to bring it up. I've got my wiring zip tied off right there. So I'm going to go right down below that to find the most direct route. It'll be right through there. Bring this up. Now the end of my pigtail here, it's got our connector on it. We're not gonna need that at the back of the car, so let's just split that off there. If you need one, cut a little bit extra, you can put it on something. Just kind of wrap that around our airline tubing. Use some black electrical tape. And we'll pull it on through. Now we'll just start bringing it down to us. Now we'll just, see I'm gonna use that kind of like a shelf and just set it right on top of it there. And we'll use some zip ties to secure it. Those are provided in our kit. If you're choosing a different route, you want to avoid hot areas or pinch points, anything that might cause damage to our wire here. Of course, we want to trim off any zip ties we got hanging down. Now I'm going to go right up behind the heat shield. Just going to try to tuck right over top of the gas tank there. Now from there, we're going to tuck right up into the frame rail. We'll just kind of feed it in the one side as we pull it out back here. Let's just get it unwrapped down here. We'll start splitting our wires. There's just like a plastic sheeting kind of that goes around those, so they're pretty easy to just kind of split. If you can't split them with your fingers, then just kind of just barely go in between them with like a razor knife. Then we can get them individually separated. Now inside of our trunk here on each side, we're going to pull out the push pin fasteners that are kind of holding our carpet in. Then we'll just push that down out of the way. Then we're going to release that large thumb screw there, holding in our light. Now 
And we can separate this plug right here on the back. Push in on that tab on the bottom there and pull it apart. And I'll set this aside someplace safe so we can get to it in a minute. What we'll do now is kind of pull back the wrap that they've got around these wires. Now what we need to do is test these wires to see which of the wires controls which signal. What we're concerned with are going to be our running lights, our brake, and our blinker. And once we figure out what they are, we can just write those down. And with our light plugged back in, let's have them turn on the running lights. Let's test each of our wires. Go ahead and turn them off and back on. All right, so it looks like the purple with the green is going to be for our running light. Next, let's test our blinker. And blinker off and back on. All right, so the gray and orange is going to be blinker for us. All right, now this one runs a combined turn signal and stoplight, which is good. So the gray wire, not only is this going to be the gray with the orange, not only is that going to be our blinker, but also our brake light. Now let's check our other side. All right, now turn them off and back on. Perfect, the orange and white, that's going to be for our running lights here on the passenger side. All right, so the green and orange takes care of the blinker. Uh, hit the brakes and also our brake light. Now we'll stick one of our either stiff wire or, again, in our case, airline tubing. Do it down through each of those housings. Now what I'm going to do where we come out of our frame rail on the underside here, use a little piece of our wire loom. Just kind of tuck it up in there. Keep our wiring safe. Especially coming around that edge. We don't want it to wear over time and cause us any issues. Pick it up like that. We'll just put a real wrap of tape around it. Now for our passenger side here, we're going to attach the green and brown wire to our red pull cable. Pull it up there towards our tail log opening. And what we're going to do here on the passenger side, the green and orange and the white and orange, we want to split those. Strip the end back. And we're going to add one of our blue spade connectors onto the end of each one of those. Now we're going to take a pretty good length of our brown wire here. And what I'm going to do is double it over. We'll split that. Bring up about the same amount of green wire. Cut that. And we're going to strip back all three ends. The two brown ones we want to twist together. And they're going to get the only yellow spade connector in the kit. And to the end of the green one, we'll add one of our blue. Now these will pass to the inside of the car. Pull our plug on in there and we'll get our diode set. What we're going to do is use this nice flat surface up here. Mount our diodes to it. We'll let that clean it off with a little bit of alcohol and we can let that evaporate. We'll start making our connections. We'll take that double brown wire that's going to be for the running lights. We're going to plug it in one side of our diode on the inside. Our orange and white coming from the front of the car is also going to go in that same one. That's our running light circuit. And then the orange and white from the plug side will go into the out. So basically we're running two wires in. They're going to translate it into one wire coming out. Pull that double stick tape off. Can I get it positioned there so everybody's happy? Now we'll get our other one set. We'll bring our green wire that we ran back to the other side. Then the outside is going to go to the 
plug just like that. Now the brown wire that we added on, or the one that we split and then we had two, we're going to run that back down and outside the car there. And we can put our passenger side light into place. We'll just plug our wiring back in there. Reinstall our thumb nut there. And then you also want to tuck you going to pull that weather stripping out and you'll tuck that carpeting in back behind it. We're going to trim off our white wire, strip it back, and we're going to add a ring terminal to it. Now we're going to use a self-tapping screw here. We're going to go right into this double thick piece of steel. Be nice and secure. Now we're going to use one of the provided butt connectors. We're going to connect that excess green wire we had to our brown wire. Now this is going to be out underneath our vehicle for the most part, so let's take some tape. Really wrap it up good to give ourselves a moisture or vapor barrier there. Then we can run these up over that rear bumper structure. Now there's a spot right in the frame there we'll use to anchor off. I'm not going to do it too tight, just enough to kind of just kind of keep everything in its place. We'll bring it around to where it's on that flat side so we won't have to worry about cutting it. So let's just continue on across. And we'll bring it over the bumper again. We connect it to our pull cable and take it up where we need it to go. Now over here on the driver's side, we're going to do the gray and orange and the purple with blue. We're also going to cut our green and yellow and strip those back. Those will also be getting a blue spade connector. All right, now we should be ready to make our diode connections. Now the running lights, we're gonna be connecting in our green wire. Remember that started as a brown wire. We just added a little bit of extra to it. And then the purple and green, that's gonna get the yellow wire. Slide our white housing back in. Push in our connector and tuck it away. All right, now we're gonna connect to our tester here. You could also use the vehicle you plan on towing with. And the first thing we wanna do is turn on the tail lights. We should have good signal coming out of both of them. Nice. Now let's check the left blinker. and left brake. I'll check the right blinker and the right brake. All right, with all of our lights working as it should, that's gonna to complete today's installation of the Roadmaster Universal High Power Diode Kit, part number RM-154 on our 2014 Ford Fiesta.